Hey everybody, and welcome back to another new and noteworthy mod review. Today we're going to take a look at the John Deere 40 series. But before that, this video is brought to you by Metallic Fox and Time Lapse Sim Gamer. Thank you for being farm barons. So right up front, I was thinking about doing a video, a single video with the John Deere 30 and 40 series. But then given all of the different configuration options and everything, I thought, you know what? That video is probably going to be fairly long, and I thought it might just be best to err on the side of a shorter video to do two videos as opposed to do one longer video covering both the 30 and the 40 series. And quite frankly, another video that we got coming up soon on the large frame tractor variant of these classic John Deere tractors. Let's read a little bit of the description. As one of the most popular series, the 40 series, also known as the Iron Horses, was a resounding success for John Deere with overall horsepower increases and a new brand tractor in the lineup, the 4840. The Iron Horses hold a special place in a lot of people's hearts. Now, this particular mod, which you're going to be able to find over at tiredironmodding.itch.io, so this is going to be a PC only mod, is only going to consist of the 4040. 4240 and the 4430. Sadly, I wish it would have continued on up the 40 series product line all the way up to that 4840. But alas, we do have the 4040, 4240, and the 4440. Let's go ahead and take a look at these in the shop. We're going to find them most easily down here under mods and DLCs the John Deere 40, 40, 42, 40, 40, 40 tractors. And then just like the 30 series, we have a cabbed and open station variant, $36,000 for either. And just like the 30 series, if you have seen that video, you're going to be like, is this a deja vu? Because we have all of the same configuration options on that. But just in case you haven't seen that video, let's go ahead and iterate through those. So the 4040 is going to start out at 93 horsepower with a quad range transmission. 246 liter fuel capacity, 35 kilometer per hour top speed, and 9.4 ton curb weight. As far as options, we have design no weights. We have half weights or full weights. And our full weights, we have a 10.4 ton. So we are adding one whole ton if we add full weights. We have flashers, or we can add dual old flashers to the rear. Then we have factory mirror. We have a square mirror for the 40 series. The 30 series had a round mirror. We have it on the left side, and then we have the in cab mirror. Or we could go with old retro mirrors. And then we get a pair of mirrors way off to the sides. We have the choice of front loader attacher, none, saddle tanks, or 148 loader or the JD console. And the JD console is gonna be used to attach an in-game John Deere front loader. Then under engine setups, we have the 4040 quad range, which again is at 93 horsepower. Then we go to the 4040 with power shift, the 4240 quad range at 112 horsepower. Then we can change the transmission to power shift on that. Then the 4440 at 130 horsepower, quad range or power shift whichever you should so like. Under wheel setups, we have row crop. We have row crop with weights. We have dual row crop. We have wide stance, wide stance with weights, wide stance duels, and back to row crop. Let's go ahead and take a look at the open station variant of the 40 series. Once again, we have no weights, half weights or full weights. We have open station, or we could go to a canopy that has black posts. We can move to a canopy with green posts. We have front loader attacher. No, we go with 148 loader or the JD console. You will notice that we do not have the saddle tank option on the open station variant. On our engine setup, we have a 4040 with quad range transmission the 4240 at 112 horsepower again with quad range transmission and the 4440 quad range variant with 130 horsepower. 
As far as wheel setup, we have row crop, row crop with weights, dual row crop, wide stance, wide stance with weights, wide stance duels. Then we go with a narrow front, narrow front with weights, narrow front duels, narrow front wide, narrow front wide with weights, and narrow front wide with duels. So there you go. Now let's move on. We have the Leon blade that we're going to take a look at, just like we took a look at in the 30 series. We have the regular blade, which is going to be used for pushing silage or other things. 8 foot, 10 foot, or 12 foot variants. We have the sound guard mount, which is the one that's going to work best for the 40 series. Or we have the 50 20 mount. Then we have no angle. We can go with a fixed right angle, fixed left angle, or again, no angle. And we can adjust the tilt up and down of this particular blade. The snow variant of the blade, which is designed for pushing snow, has all of the same configuration options, 8 foot, 10 foot, and 12 foot. And then no angle, right, left, and back. Then we have the Soundguard saddle tanks, $12,536 for these. They are going to increase your liquid capacity by 1,591 liters if you are hauling a liquid sprayer or a sprayer or a planter or cedar that makes use of liquid fertilizer. You can make use of these as well. So with all of those options run through, let's go ahead and take a look at these maybe a little bit closer. We've got the narrow front tractor here with a 148 loader. Take a look at the in cab visibility of the canopy. Not too terrible bad. We do have animated shift levers in all of these tractors, as well as gauges. Pedals do work. Pretty decent visibility of our front loader. And I have to say with the front loader, we do have some nice movement on our hoses and such. Now this is fixed. You cannot take this off unless you go to the shop and configure it as an option. If you did not see the video on the 30 series, I talked about the excellent turning radius of the narrow fronts. So they make an excellent yard tractor to get in and around tight spaces and so forth. Let's go ahead and take a look at the 4040 here with the cab variant that has the saddle track connection on it. And the way we would connect to those is pretty straightforward. We would just drive up between the saddle tracks until we get the connect, and then we would connect on in. This is the classic John Deere cab with the split front window, just completely obscuring part of your frontal view there, but at any rate, be sure to bring back special memories for several, I am sure. These tractors are still in use in farms all over the East Coast. I know that for an absolute fact on that one. There we go. Forty-two forty with the John Deere console. I want to connect you over here to the 643 front loader that is base game machinery. You know, line yourself up and you'll be able to line right on into this thing. I demonstrated it like first time with the 30 series and here we are having issues. There we go. A little tight to connect, but you see it mates up just right. Poses hook up and everything. And then we have the 4440. This one I have the Leon blade attached to it just to demonstrate what it looks like 
even with the front weights. And the way it works is you're just going to drive up right here. You'll get to connect and it will then attach to the frame, to the front. And there you go. Now you can push all the snow or silage you want. Left click up and down to change the angle of the blade. And there you go, guys. That is the John Deere 40 Series. Again, it is available over at tiredironmodding.itch.io. Link will be down in the description below to both the 40 Series tractor and the add-on packs that you can get for your 40 Series and your 30 Series, as we have already shown. Let me know down in the comments below. Have you driven a John Deere 30 or 40 series tractor? Maybe you have one now still, but you are making use of on the farm. And until next time, happy farming.